Hello and welcome back to the Nexus Gaming Series. I am the Crushinator and today we have the Losers Bracket Finals for the Storm Division playoffs. It's Anti-Clown Association taking on Dead Gaming, a best of five here. The winner will move on to the Grand Finals next week taking on 30 Croissant. Exciting stuff. We've got the teams in the lobbies. We're about to be ready to go. Hope you're having a good day. Hope you're having a good week. Halfway through, on our way to the weekend, we'll hopefully have some good games for you today. Looks like there might be an issue with the lobby. So while they get that sorted, let's go over to the map select. Get our, uh, get our situation figured out. Alterac Pass, Braxis Holdout, Garden of Terror, and Volskaya Foundry are banned out today. We're going to start things off on Tomb of the Spider Queen just as soon as we uh, figure out what's going on with this lobby bug. Hopefully it won't be too much longer. Bring it back to me for a minute. Yeah, sometimes you can get a lobby bug where it thinks one person, you know, one person doesn't meet the requirements for the play mode or something, so. Hopefully we'll get our 10th back in a moment and the lobby will realize it's errors. <laughs> but I hope you're having a good day. As I said before, I am somewhat sleepy, but I'm resolved to bring you the action and see who's going to come ahead today. Dead Gaming taking out the number three seed Can't Censor Ship over the weekend to get to this matchup. So they have already won one underdog match. We'll see if they can take another here versus ACA. 30K and ACA have been sort of the big dogs throughout the regular season, but you know, anything can happen on any one match. You never know who's going to come out ahead in, uh, in these situations. Looks like we've got our 10th back. We'll see if that solved it. Looks like it did. Let's go to the draft. Excellent, excellent. Waiting for players, as always. Anti-Clown Association will be first to act here in our first game of the day. Tomb of the Spider Queen, we're looking for control onto heroes like Junkrat, like Chromie, like Mephisto. Strong long-range mages tend to do good work here on Tomb of the Spider Queen. Start with the Diablo control on the first ban. Johanna also going to be pretty high on priority see that band out. Offlaners are good here, but I'd say there's a, a wider range of offlaners that get the job done on Tomb of the Spider Queen compared to other maps. You're more worried about are they susceptible to being ganked rather than, you know, doing too much double soaking. So you can get away with, you know, your Leorix, your Urels all do fine here. So there's not as much point in controlling like the Hogger and the Blaze. Obviously the Hogger and the Blaze do particularly well. But we're going to see Junkrat and Lucio hit the ban board. Anti-Clown Association looking for that first pick here. We'll see if they do want maybe that Blaze off the top. As most of the other standouts have been taken care of. Maybe they've got something up their, up their sleeve for us here for game number one. Kelsey, you're going to grab up that Chromie. Okay. Chromie, of course, very long distance, can shoot from relative safety here on Tomb of the Spider Queen, being such a small map. So we'll see if there's going to be a, a range match here from Dead Gaming. Hanzo, Mephisto come to mind. 
Brandon going to grab up a tank here, grabbing the Anubarak. Cheeky's opting for Rhaegar, so no damage off the top here for Dead Gaming. Going to leave themselves flexible in that regard. I wonder if Anti-Clown Association is going to get both of their damage now. No, they're going to get Malfurion Blaze. I was thinking it'd be a riskier draft strat to try to take both types of damage now than ban a third. But there's just so many good damage dealers that that's a difficult uh, difficult pick type to narrow down. Valimar going for that favored Malfurion. We don't see a lot of it outside of Valimar, honestly, but does play it very effectively here in Storm Division. Gunara will be the ban choice from Dead Gaming. Gunara, of course, with the vision control on Tomb can be very useful. Very hard to sneak turn-ins against an enemy Lunara. Anti-Clown Association looking across at the Anubarak Rhaegar. Sylvanas and Greymane come to mind in terms of sieging combos. Let's see if they want to control any of that. No, they're just going to take away the top bruiser remaining. They've got the blaze, they'll ban Hogger. Interested, interested to see if Dead Gaming does go for that sort of Rhaegar gray main combo that they've been opting for lately. Can be a little bit tough into Blaze Malfury and a lot of upfront control there. Brett goes for that Sylvanas. Gojira for Tahaka here. It'll be Tahaka against the Blaze. Sylvanas, obviously very strong pushing alongside objectives. Pretty good at clearing them as well. Can never really go wrong with a Sylvanas pick. Moving Slug Hunter to flex in the last position. Anti Clown Association, they need a tank, they need a flex here. Let's see what the options are for Nintori and Vince. Muradin Grey Mane. So Vince takes away the Grey Mane. Slug Hunter has been playing an awful lot of Grey Mane here, so Anti Clown Association gonna take that away. Hmm. Hanzo is available. It's going to be the Mephisto, though. One of those premier mages that tends to get played on Tomb of the Spider Queen. Strong drafts both ways. Obviously, Malfury, not one that we see a lot, but one that we do see frequently from Valimar. Chromie Greymane definitely have enough burst here for Anti-Clown Association. Mephisto is just a damage monster. It's going to be up to positioning. It's going to be up to late game scaling here for game number one. We did it! Game number one on the left in the blue. We finally got there. It's Anti-Clown Association. Vince is on Greymane. Kelsier on the Chromie. Nintori playing Muradin. Dude abides on the Blaze. And Valimar is on Malfurion. On the right in the red, Dead Gaming, Cheeky's on the Rhaegar, Slug Hunter playing Sylvanas, Brandon on the Anubarak, Rhett is playing Mephisto, and Gojira Five, on the Dahaka. Alright, we did it! Game 1 is underway! Yeah. Checking on our level 1 talents. No quest talents to be found, aside from Muradin's baseline. No stacking allowed this game. They find Dahaka alone on the low side for now. Drag not going to connect. As the mid wave clear will commence. Slug Hunter. Ooh, with the short wave there. Palomar tries to catch with the uh, with the carpet. Oh, Brandon chased down there by the Dragon's Breath of Chromie and First Blood will go over to Anti Clown Association. Tori waiting to go over the wall once again. Vince in position. The rotations continue on forward here. Slug Hunter ooh, is going to go towards the low side. Looks like he's going to get away from Vince there. Anti Clown Association coming out swinging in the early going. Kelsier just throwing some damage into Rhett there on the top lane. Looks like Vince going to start up the neutral camp on the bottom side while Dead Gaming gets their bruiser camp going.
Prey main should be able to wrap this up fairly quickly here. Right side bruiser getting low as well. Both going to be taken roughly the same time. There's a move on to Gojira on the low side. Vince now coming in. Dahaka pretty healthy. We'll be able to just weather the storm here. Little drag to get one of those siege giants in range. That's a nice little Dahaka trick for you aspiring offlaners out there. Here's the dig in from Brandon. Goes for the double stun. Does not land the second one onto Dudabides. Because now the bruiser camp is pushing forward. Mephisto getting a lot of damage out on that wall before being forced to retreat. Chromie just putting a halt on that rotation for a moment. Chromie did go for that Time Walker's Pursuit on level 1. So we'll be able to check vision all around the map whenever they choose. Allows Chromie to be a lot safer moving between top and mid as well. Anti-Clown Association now with a Bruiser Camp of their own, priming that to go towards the mid lane. We'll see what the defense is like here from Dead Gaming. Brandon's dropping off 8 here on the low side. Nice sneak there as Mentori was scouting that out. Kelsier joining the push here as the Bruiser Camp approaches the wall. Pretty good clear here from Dead Gaming. Little damage onto the wall, but not too much going on there. And Tori going to drop off 12 here on the low side as both teams are almost ready for a full turn in. Stormbolt from the brush does not connect there. Tori waiting to go over the wall once again. Right now, good vision control both sides. Chromie's got an eye out with that time trap. Slug Hunter trying to lead the turn in here down below. Right with a nice cutoff on that Lightning Nova. And Tori taken down to half. Gojira sitting on 22 gems right now. Definitely going to be a target for Anti-Clown Association. What a route coming out from Malfurion. That's going to be a Nubarak caught. Gems are picked up though by Dead Gaming. So no losses accrued there. Dudabide's on 19. That'll be a nice drop-off here for Anti-Clown Association. Only 10 more gems required. 28. Wow, Kelsier had the majority of the remainder and will lock in a blue web weaver phase. Uh-oh, Rhett avoids the stun, avoids the root as well, but there's the Skullcracker roots coming out. The, the time loop from Chromie is going to help secure that kill. Brandon picking up the gems. Left behind by Rhett. That is one of the downfalls of these long-range mages, Chromie and Mephisto. If they're ever caught forward, they don't have a great way to get back. Brandon going into the back line, looking for damage on a Kelsier. Slug Hunter dives on in. Great work there by Dead Gaming. They're going to lock in their first blood. Getting the kill onto Chromie, and that will allow them for a safer defense here in the top lane. All the while, though, Vince was able to chew down this wall in the mid and get back to safety. Dudabide's putting some splash on the wall as well. Gojira on 30. Uh-oh, is going to get stunned there. Over the wall is Nintori. The essence was popped by Gojira. Is it going to be enough? No, Gojira goes down. 30 gems will expire down here in the bottom lane. Great job by Dudabide's timing out that jet propulsion and allowing everyone else to follow up. That is a big time loss. Or dead gaming. Level 10s are now here for Anti-Clown Association. Looking at the bunker, avatar, temporal loop. That is uh, Twilight Dream here from Malfurion as another engage comes through the top side. Slug Hunter in trouble. That's 14 gems. We see Dahaka is slowed trying to get access to them. Picks up a couple and now the boss is actually triggered here. Gets a big stun onto Valimar and oh no, Valimar goes down to the Nexus forces. Good capitalization there by Dead Gaming. And they do manage to pick up most of the gems that fell. T 
Tens are now in for Dead Gaming as well. Durance of Hate, Cocoon, Wailing Arrow, Isolation, and Ancestral Healing are their choices. Big turn in here for Anti-Clown Association. 43 gems in the bank. See Dead Gaming and Anti-Clown Association both doubling back to get their bruiser camps going. No one on the bottom siege for now. Well, Brandon on 38 will be scouted out and stopped by Kelsier. Brandon definitely holding the lion's share of the gems right now. Brett with 9 will be stopped there. Kelsier has to walk away pretty quickly though, as Anubarak was nearly in range for an engage. A little bit of chase onto the low side here. So, ooh, Brandon did manage to drop off 31 there. That's a big deal for Dead Gaming to get those in the bank. And that means Red Web Weavers are now on the way. Looks like the stack is in the top lane for the meantime. We'll see if that's going to be the lane of focus here for Dead Gaming. And Tori coming across will be seen on the flank. There's the follow-up from Brandon. And Tori, down to about half here, is going to jump towards the mid lane. Endurance of Hate, a little bit late connecting there. Our Weavers are now on the way. Oh, Brandon, a little bit forward, is going to get rooted. There's the Unstoppable. Ancestral is just a moment too late. Anubarak goes down. Jiki's being chased out now next. Stormbolt connects. That is Rhaegar to fall. Nicely capitalized there by Anti-Clown Association. They are going to save their top fort for now. Mid taking a little bit of damage, but the Web Weaver is down. Boss is up. Don't really have the map position to jump on that one, though. So it looks like instead they're just going to look for a turn in on the low side here. Greymane is going to barely get there. Blue Web Weavers are confirmed here by Anti-Clown Association. Slug Hunter getting out of trouble there, setting up for the defense. Dead Gaming about to have their 13s. That'll be very useful to be on even talent tiers here. Brandon, who avoids the Stormbolt just barely from Nintori. There are those 13s. It's a level lead right now for Anti-Clown Association. They're going to look into pick up structures if possible. Bottom fort already very low. Blaze should be able to lock up that one. They would love to grab this topside fort. And Tori just working on the low side of this fort. Bottom lane goes down. Brandon getting out of trouble there. Time loop comes out. It's going to pull Rhett right into the root and Mephisto will fall. Now they're jumping over the fort looking for Cheekies. Brandon Lowe as well puts Graeme in the cocoon. Dude abides is going to get the solo kill onto a Nubarak there. Top fort going to go down. Anti-Clown Association with the two picks are going to keep on pressuring forward for now. Slug Hunter getting purged there by Cheekies to get away from the flying Vince. Fisto is now back, and the Web Weaver phase is over. Red getting a couple of dismounts on the way back, and that is the final fort destroyed by Anti-Clown Association. They're looking for another turn in off the back of this. Oh, well, maybe not. Looks like Kelsier Dudabides want to get this bottom siege camp going. They've got the 16 advantage, so they can afford to be a little bit greedy on the map right now. These turn-ins, that will be enough. And Tori was scouting out that right side camp for a moment. But it looks like the turn-in will go through before the bruiser camp becomes available. Blue Web Weaver's on the way. Brandon will duck out towards the mid lane. Kojira keeping an eye here on the low side. Dude abides good scout there. Gonna send Gojira back behind the wall. Oh, Vince. <laughs> Vince nearly getting trapped in the corner there. Nintori coming over the top. 
As Rat going to get hit with the time loop to bring him back to the outside. Nice purge timing by Cheekies. Mid keep wall is now down. Side lane's also pressuring in. Keep taking a little bit of damage here as Vince trying to get in range. Has to watch out for Brandon though. Nice job avoiding the impale. As the objective does go down. Hello, side due to buy it stepping way forward here. Gets the jet propulsion away just in time. Brandon was keying up that in that uh, charge. Nice job by Kelsier aiming that W onto the retreating members of Dead Gaming, and now we're going to see a camp steal here. There's your camp stolen. Now they're looking for this mid keep, just looking for a slow siege. Dude, why it's keeping Gojira busy as a huge stun train by Brandon in the mid. Time loop comes on out. It's a double loop coming on through. It's going to put Anubarak into the Sleepy Roots. Anubarak goes down. Chromie is able to time out there as Rhett was looking for his solo kill. Links onto Malfurion to lock up that one. Kelsier managing to get away here. Mid keeps still standing. Oh, Vince is going to try to jump onto Gojira, who's already gets the tunneling claws. Brett moving forward. Can't quite get the Nova onto Vince, though. Fight continuing here is now the drag landing onto Nintori. Muradin looking for a cooldown. Will not have it in time. Brett is just chasing everybody down here. Dudabide's getting out. Kelsier. Oh, is in range. Avoids the Skull Missile, but now looking like another turn in here for Dead Gaming. Oh, Rhett went over the wall and got Chromie! I didn't think that was possible, but the 1v1 actually continued there. You might have seen it on the corner of the screen. Wow, what a pickoff from Rhett. Man, I'm sad I didn't have that one. That shot loaded up. I thought that fight was over. Red Web Weaver's now on the way. Tahaka covering the bottom lane. Gonna try to get that one moving. Brandon is gonna put Blaze into the cocoon here. Valimar doesn't want to get too close. Here comes Tahaka. They're looking for the extra stuns just to throw in absolutely everything out there. Blaze is down. Dead Gaming gonna try to ride this wave through the top lane. Wall taking some damage. Now Fury getting a quick catch there onto Sylvanas. This Kelsier just clearing from afar. Trying to play around that time trap just in case Brandon engages. And Tori jumping into the back there is going to be stunned out. Gets the avatar popped though. Could be an engage opportunity here for Anti Clown Association, but that's a big silence on Nintori. Onto Nintori. Barely gets the cooldown. Available in time to jump away. Dead Gaming nearly taken down the top keep, but it does still stand. Now Anti-Clown Association is about to claim their level 20s. Red keeping an eye out here. Ventori not scouting the mid-bush just yet. Red does move away. Anti-Clown Association with their 20s going to force the issue on the boss. They know Dead Gaming doesn't have enough for a uh, another turn in here. Brett going to show on the bottom wave. Santi Clown Association takes these takes this boss. ACA doesn't have enough for a turn in either. Dead Gaming definitely closer to that one, but they're going to have to come on back and get ready for this defense. Dead Gaming still a smidgen away from level 20 themselves. They know they're a little underpowered on this defense if they can just wait a little bit longer. Vince trying to step forward, getting those splashing auto attacks into the back line. Boss at about half health here. Anti-Clown Association. Knows this is about all they're going to get. I think the keep still falls? It does. Boss gets the structure. We are 20 versus 20 now, though. 
Blaze has him to come on down and clean up this bottom lane, sieging into the keep wall. Dead Gaming going to get their Bruiser Camp pushing through the mid. Now it's just a game of vision, a game of attrition. Who's going to overstep first? Quick stun there as Vince clears the top lane. Tahaka waiting on the top side here for a possible engage. There it is. Big flanks coming on through. Kelsier avoids the cocoon there, but they're going to double back onto Vince. Silence Arrow comes on out. Greymane goes down. Great pickoff from Dead Gaming. So Durance of Hate lands onto Murden. Is going to go back onto Blaze, who pops the bunker. Trying to jump out is Murden, but was stunned mid-jump, and that is Murden to fall. Dead Gaming with a double kill here. They have a turn-in opportunity. Brett going to seal that one up. They're going to keep on pushing here. Won't get the stun onto Dude Abide. Still three here on the defense. Now the Web Weavers are on the way. 30 seconds before Greymane is back. 40 seconds on Muradin. This is a very delicate defense right now for Anti-Clown Association. They cannot lose another member. Web Weaver's coming on through. Top lane definitely going to be going down at least. Greymane back in just a moment. Brandon trying to look forward onto Kelsier. Timeout is used. Gojira not going to land the drag tongue, but there's Brandon into the back. Durance of Fate doesn't land. Kelsier trying to move back to safety. Does wiggle on out of trouble. Murden is about to be back. Top keep falls, mid keep falls. Grey main put into the cocoon there, but will be quickly broken out. Next wave has spawned here for ACA. Brandon going in there looking for Vince. Due to buy, it's not going to connect on the jet propulsion, but huge damage from Chromie. Grey main goes down in the back, but there's a new Barak down on the right side. Silence Arrow lands just after Nintori engaged that jump. 4v4 on this core. Very, very close here as now bottom lane is getting a lot of pressure. Due to buy, pops the adrenaline pack. Uh oh, Kelsier taking huge damage. That's Chromie down. Dead Gaming is going to finish up this last keep. Can they keep pressuring forward? Ancestral Healing lands on Tourette. They're grouping up to get that heal splashed around. Slug Hunter is moving towards the core, which the shielding is now gone. Dead Gaming is going to try to end here. Rhett with the Mimic is going to put a ton of damage out into the core. Red is low, though, taking a lot of hits. Due to buy moves way in there. Slug Hunter being chased down is going to get the bolt to try to move away. Mephisto and Sylvanas are down, though. Oh, no. Dead Gaming lose two on the core. It's at 50%. Cheeky's trying to move away here. Going to be slowed by Muradin. Rhaegar almost certainly has no way out. That is Cheeky's going down, and the core is saved at 50%. Chromie back in 10 seconds. Anti-Clown Association... I don't think they can just rush top and win this. They have to equalize these lanes. 30 seconds with this advantage. Looks like they're trying to. Nintori is walking it forward. Chromie and Malfurion are on the way. They're going to give this a shot. 17 seconds and counting. No, it looks like they're stopping at the keep. If they can find another pick, maybe. There's the double loop coming out onto Anubarak. Oh no, Brandon is caught! That could be a move to the core here for Anti-Clown Association. They get the keep. Here comes Mephisto and Sylvanas, though. Now it's Dead Gaming's turn to try for a core defense. That is a huge silence, though, from Malfurion. Red in trouble. Mephisto goes down. There goes Gojira. Unbelievable. Anti-Clown Association now working on the core. They get the picks, Sylvanas goes down in the back, and this is going to be ACA taking the victory in a thriller here on Tomb of the Spider Queen. GG. What a back and forth on our first map of the day. Anti-Clown Association get the core defense, move across, find the picks, and take the victory. Very nicely played by both teams there. This is shaping up to be a great, great series. Let's go to the post game. Check out the stats here. 
Kelsier on the Chromie. 65,000 hero damage coming on out for Anti-Clown Association. Dead Gaming Slug Hunter on the Sylvana. 72,000 hero damage. Dealt. Take a look at the talent builds and we'll get ready for game number two. Alrighty. See what's going on here. We're going to Battlefield of Eternity for game number two, this time as chosen by Anti-Clown Association. Draft is up. Let's jump on in. Johanna once again going to be the early ban by Dead Gaming. Imagine that's met with a Diablo ban, but we will see where the priorities lie here for Anti-Clown Association on this map. There goes the Diablo. No Lucios allowed. Certainly not while Valimar's in the lobby. <laughs> Junkrat isn't as important here on Battlefield, so I'm interested to see if that's still going to be the ban. I might consider a Blaze ban here. We'll see what Anti-Clown Association is thinking. I'm going to get rid of the Hanzo. Okay. Hanzo definitely a... Uh, Often taken first pick on Battlefield. Rhett going to opt for the Li Ming instead. Li Ming doesn't come out on too many maps, but this is the main one that you'll see Li Ming show up on. Anti-Clown Association with their choice of bruisers if they do want that. Might also want to grab up that Grey Main while they have the chance. Nubrak chosen here by Nintori. Due to Bides goes for the Blaze. About as safe as a picks as you can get, considering the current draft situation. Dead Gaming. A Nubrak Li Ming would be a pretty dank combo, so I like that pick away here from ACA. Murden definitely works. Brandon picking that up. Gojira opting for the Hogger. Things about as uh, as even as they get here in this draft. They both got the best available tanks. They both got the best available offlaners. Li Ming taken in lieu of Hanzo. Anti-Clown Association. Let's see if they want to control some healers here. They are going to ban out the Anduin. I wonder if they're going to take the Rhaegar and try to put Cheekies onto something else. Or if they're just going to go back to that Malfurion for Valimar. Brightwing is another one that is available. Very strong in the healer department. As we see Junkrat still banned away. Hmm. If Valimar's feeling himself, it's probably Malfurion. Otherwise, I think... You go with the Rhaegar. Let's see what ACA's thoughts are here. Well, takes the Brightwing. Okay. Kelsier opting for Lunarak for that immortal damage and mid vision. I do like Brightwing for shutting down Muradin and Hogger. Both of them very, very powerful while they have cooldowns available. And of course, Polymarsh shuts down those cooldown opportunities. Not to mention giving some spell shield versus Li Ming. Ooh, Great Main Uther here for Slug Hunter and Cheeky is going for a very aggressive composition here on Dead Gaming. We don't get to see Uther too much, but when it works, you're reminded of why it works. <laughs> yes, Uther is an incredibly consistent CC follow-up type healer and burst denier. Vince on the last pick here for Anti-Clown Association. Going to go to that Chromie. Just try to put some splash damage onto the back. One thing Uther isn't as good at is just healing Poke. Lunara and Chromie will definitely 
have that going for them. Looking at the two compositions, oof, this is uh, this is going to be a tough one to call once again here. Let's see how they clash in game number two. Let's do it. Game number two on the left and the blue, it is Anti-Clown Association. Kelsier on the Chromie, Valimar playing Brightwing, Vince on the Lunara, Dude Abides on Blaze, and Nintori is playing Anubarak. On the right and the red, we've got Dead Gaming, Brandon on the Muradin, Cheeky's playing Uther, Slug Hunter on the Greymane, Rhett on Lee Ming, and Gojira is playing Hogger. It's true, the co-catter has gone elsewhere. Let the battle begin. Goose is never one to stick around. We might be, we might get Jin back in between games. But Jin is also salty that anyone was in his bed. <laughs> we can only hope that Jin joins us at some point in the evening. like no shenanigans in the top lane for now just the classic blaze versus hogger nice polymorph timing there from valimar brandon's still gonna have the health to jump away though brandon over the top here looking for kelsier does find that stun slug hunter gonna put a couple of autos there as Li Ming following up with the arcane orb Nice job by Vince, just making sure to not only get damage onto Murden, but splashing it around. And Tori stepping up there. Oh, he's gonna eat a stun, and there's an extra stun. And Uberak still has the burrow charge to get away, though. Kelsier just putting down a trap to scout out that camp. He'll stop there, because why not? Dead Gaming feel like they've got the early game comp to take this camp, so they're going to jump on forward. Anti-Clown Association says, you know what? I think you're right. <laughs> camp goes over to Dead Gaming. Anti-Clown Association actually leaking out Vince to the top lane to help secure that camp for Dude Abides. A little 1v1, one 4-1 one, one on those siege camps. At the two minute mark here, teams are thinking about moseying on back to their shaman camps. Maybe get one more wave clear before getting those started. Looks like Hogger still working on clearing away these siege minions that are being protected by Blaze. Shaman camp being started here by Anti-Clown Associations. Nintori is going to step forward. Gojira doesn't have the E. There's one connection and follow up. With red in the area, they're not going to go diving under towers. It's going to finish this one off for ACA. Slug Hunter and Cheeky's locking up this camp for dead gaming. Overall, pretty good defense there from Gojira. That's a bit of a tough spot for Hogger. Trying to clear that siege camp. Solo versus Blaze. I shall purge your Starting out with our first objective, Nintori trying to slow things down here on the low side. Nice aim by Chromie onto that back line. Dead game and getting a good head start here on this clear. Dude abides trying to get the stun on the back, but splits the uprights a little bit. Uh-oh, Brandon caught on the jump. ACA is going to chase on forward onto Murden. Is there enough damage? There is. Murden will fall. Now Slug Hunter in the mix one as well, trying to trade out, but no, Greymane goes down. Ooh, <laughs> quite a bit of damage onto Uther there, but Cheekies will survive. Early double kill for Anti-Clown Association. They're going to jump on this clear. But already on the way back is Dead Gaming. Looks like we'll be about even on this objective. Extremely even. It's about 67 damage difference. Anti-Clown Association moving across for the forward defense here. 
Vince working on the backside as Dudabai is getting a big stun. Great follow-up from Nintori. Is there enough damage from Kelsier to grab these kills? Look at everyone so low! Uther is down, Muradin will fall as well. And the chase continues. Dudabai stuns onto two. Gojira getting out of there just barely with the help of the Ghost of Uther. Over the wall, Nintori looking for Slug Hunter. Gets the second follow-up. Polymorph is in. Jet Propulsion is in. And that is an early five kills for Anti-Clown Association. The follow-ups have been absolutely on point between Nintori and uh, and Duda Bides. And Valimar's there too. One thing I've always admired about Valimar's support gameplay is the timing of the CC follow-ups. There's very little overlap when it comes to Valimar following up on CC. It's right on the end of the last CC getting maximum timing out of uh, out of those potential abilities. Slug Hunter slowed and moved into the back line there as the objective pressuring onto the fort. Looks like the fort going to be saved for the meantime here. Dead gaming. About a level behind here in experience. He's gonna have to look for an opportunity before level 10. And the opportunity they're looking for is here. They're jumping onto this bottom camp trying to find a fight. They will get the camp. Stentori, oh, thinking about a catch there. Nice unstoppable from Gojira. There's the wraparound. <laughs> and Dory going for the next level over the wall there. Almost hitting Hogger. Dead Gaming stepping up here with this camp. Hogger has to respond to Blaze in the top lane. They've got an another camp pushing as well. Stun Train onto Nintori. Able to get on out of there. Kelsey are hurting a little bit for the mana. It's going to head on back to base. Here we're at getting some forward scouting information. Sending in the boys. Get in there, lads! No! Beetle down. I shall land in a moment, as will my Level 10 is now online for Anti-Clown Association. Looking at the Bunker, Cocoon, Thornwood Vine, Slowing Sands, and Blink Heal. Tori with, again, very forward scout. Trying to slow the timing on this camp. <coughs> Excuse me. Left side camp goes over to ACA. Nintori has successfully delayed the Shaman camp. And we are in aggressive positions for these Immortals. Dead Gaming trying to find their level 10s here for this phase. Down to half here. Nintori is able to retreat. So it looks like Chromie and Lunara going to work on the top side here. There's a nice stun train from Blaze. No damage in range here. Greymane put into the cocoon, going to be quickly broken out by the disintegration beam of Li Ming. And Tori able to dig away there. Ooh, nice impale. Very healthy immortal about to come on through for Anti-Clown Association, and they all get away. Oh wow, a lot of slows onto that back line. Could ACA even follow this up with some kills? Gojira into the mix here, tries to get a stun. Doesn't get it. Blaze gonna hit that bunker. Brandon tries to chase on forward here. Due to Bides, Jukin left and right. There's a time trap from Chromie. Oh, nice job by Brandon getting that Stormbolt. Blaze will go down. Their time trap from Kelsier. Slug Hunter. Ooh, he's gonna have to receive that Divine Shield just in case. Nearly taken out by the minion wave after as Murden is actually gonna go down on the uh on the retreat there. Top fort will fall. Oh, Kelsier. Gotta watch out. There's the follow-up from Rhett. Vince is just slowing everybody down here. Chromie following it up with the dragon's breath. Slug Hunter with nowhere to go. Rolls back to safety. Oh no. And Tori is going to put Uther away here and then try to break out of this wall. The wall will go down here as ACA continues to pressure on forward. Q 
keep is going to be saved. Anti-Clown Association does grab their 13s, though. They are looking quite dominant here in game number two. Dead Gaming just getting what they can. Going to grab their Shaman Camp that was denied to them earlier. Just to help catch up in experience. Tori having to wander forward once again. Meanwhile, on the bottom side, Gojira trying to defend versus two. Due to bides with the follow-up. Polymorph timing good from Valimar. Trying to allow Vince to catch up here. A little bit of damage onto the bottom fort. Ooh, engage in the mid here. And Tori is going to be stunned out. Brightwing in the area. Provides some extra heals. Due to bide. Stuns onto two. This could be big here. Uther is broken out of the cocoon quickly by Rhett. Good timing there. Fight re-engage here as Nintori with enough mana to dig away. Ooh, Vince. Big combo there onto Slug Hunter. Do we have the Choking Pollen? We do. Still nature's calling here for Lunara, but the Choking Pollen was chosen on seven. Dead Gaming now with their 13s. They do have that in time for this phase. Brandon leading the charge across the map here. They're going to see Nintori. Nintori staying forward. Going to get hit with the stun. Brandon over the wall here. Has the unstoppable. Ooh! Barely gets away with that one. Baited out a few ults there. Due to Bide stepping up. Somehow doesn't get anybody with the jet propulsion. Dead Gaming forced back here as ACA setting up another defense. There's a big stun from Dudabize that time. D-Shield comes on out as Greymane chewing on that back line. Bunker from Blaze is going to protect too as Slug Hunter going to be taken down. And Uberak traded out though. On the back line, Dudabize finding another huge stun here, but super low on health. Getting below 200. That's Blaze to fall. Trading for Li Ming. Vince trying to trade out onto Cheekies, but will not do it. Kelsey are going to get the last hit. Going to be a three for three. What a bloodbath here on the top objective. Wow. Valimar Kelsey versus Brandon Gojira. Just trying to get as much poke damage as they can, but it looks like this immortal phase, this halftime at least, going over to dead gaming. Bottom lane, we got parity. Top lane, there's a catapult pushing on in. Anti-Clown Association about halfway to level 16 right now. Luckily for them, we're in defensive positions on these Immortals. Brett getting this top lane clear. Gojira getting the bottom lane clear as Anti-Clown Association locks up their Shaman camp. And Tori trying to move forward here. Gojira, though, able to mount up and move back. Uh-oh. Tori going to dig out early. Good timing there. 16s are in. Four Anti-Clown Association. They're going to move on forward. Brandon is spotted. It's now ACA moving forward. Trying to establish their position on this objective. Good poke damage from Chromie and Lunara here. Brandon looking for an opportunity to jump in. And Tori, though, controlling the bottom side. Slughunter going in after Vince. Going to get Polymorph. There's the D-Shield, though. Nice turnaround. That is Lunara to go down. And Tori getting a double stun on the way out. Dead Gaming, though, making great use of that Divine Shield to find that kill. Objective is low, but Anti-Clown Association can't step up just yet. 20 seconds on Lunara. Still 16 to 15 here in this 4v5. Gojira into the back gets a stun onto two. There's the timeout by Chromie. Kelsey are trying to move away, but nowhere to go. Chromie goes down. Valimar able to peel for themselves here. This dead game and going to lock up this objective. Have the Immortal pushing the top lane. Due to Bide's Jet Propulsion to try to get under the base. It's enough distance. 
top lane, though. This keep still dangerously low. Objective going to spawn without a minion wave for now. Moving into a mostly intact wall. Dead Gaming not going to get an awful lot out of this objective. Unless they can find some picks, which they've been pretty good at so far. We'll see if it's in the cards for them here. Then stepping forward. The minion wave shielding most of the Li Ming combo. Brandon looking for an opportunity to jump forward here. He's going to go over the wall. They're looking at Dude Abides. Blaze is going to hit the bunker. Can Dude Abides get out of here? No. Blaze goes down, dude. Tough one. Dead gaming. Grabbing another pick. They're starting to push back here on the map. Bottom side camp going to be started here by Dead Gaming. Hoping to grab themselves this bottom fort as well. Just the range of engage since level 16 has gone way up here. Ooh, Vince avoids the storm bolt. Speaking of range of engage, Brandon going way over the wall there. Lee Ming is put into the cocoon. Big time stop from Chromie. No blaze follow-up stun, though. They're not able to lock down enough for that kill. Brandon jumping in there. They're looking for Vince once again. Lunara getting out of trouble there with that spell shield. Bottom fort does fall. Anti-Clown Association now has five once again. Blaze up in the top lane. Getting that lane pushing. Bides and Tori. Gonna get some counter camping in the top lane. Left side bruiser just now becoming available here for ACA. They should be able to finish that up. You see that uh, piercing sands from Chromie. Big power spike there for Anti-Clown Association. I fight for the glory of the high Defensive positions here on these immortals. Blaze still top lane. Right wing still bottom lane. There's the collapse. They're looking for Valimar. There's no wave in range. Valimar is able to move back. Kelsier just getting some damage over the wall there. Blaze pushing the top lane, thinking about coming and joining the fray. Brandon is going to see that rotation. Burden over the top. Dude abides is mounted up. Gets out of trouble this time. ACA moving back to a more defensive position here as Dead Gaming stepping up. Vince avoids the majority of the combo there from Rhett. Ooh, Kelsier going down to half there from that combo. Brandon over the top, stun onto two, gets the avatar, and Tori peeling backwards here. Timeout from Chromie. There's the bunker as well, shielding a ton of that damage. D shield onto Hogger is going to allow Gojira to move back. Chromie gets barked on, though. It's a reset city. There goes Lunara. There goes Brightwing. Dead Gaming find three kills there. And now they're looking to pick up this objective. Got to deal with the top lane, though. Looks like Hogger going to get some clear going there. Dead Gaming have been doing a fantastic job of making the engages that they need. That long jump from Murden, I think that's the, yeah, that's running wild from Greymane as well, just to get that extended engage range. Hortipult from Hogger, similar long engage range. And now Dead Gaming have a very healthy Immortal pushing through this bottom lane. Tori avoids the combo there. Anti-Clown Association about to all be back here. Brandon over the top gets the rewind. Bunker is popped by Blaze due to Bides with the Juke. Oh, huge stun though from Blaze. There's the follow from Nintori. Massive damage. There goes Uther. There goes Murden. But the trade out is good onto Blaze. Can Slug Hunter get away here? 
Long roll will be enough for now. Nintori trying to chase on forward. Gets a quick stun onto two. Epicenter engage. Uther gets popped by Chromie. Now Gojira trying to help out Slug Hunter here. Nice timeout from Kelsier. Greymane goes down. Three for one here. Objective will clean out this keep. But Nintori trying to lead the charge up to the top lane. They've already got pressure onto the keep. Can Anti-Clown Association actually come across? <gasps> oh no, Rhett! Rhett is going to be taken out! Nintori with the solo kill! Oh no! Huge loss there by Dead Gaming. Kelsier following up. Core is down to 80% and counting, but Valimar going to help clear this away. Core down to 55%. 20 seconds on Uther, 5 seconds on Muradin, Greymane 20 seconds, they could move forward, ACA is going to try to end here. Kelsier stepping up, but here's Muradin, Hogger is put into the cocoon. They're going to peel back and try to get this kill, Avatar is popped, there's the polymorph as well, Silence comes on out, Brandon trying to get away, is there enough? Oh, Brandon going to survive, they're looking at Gojira next though, that's Hogger to fall. Still three here on this defense. Li Ming back in 15 seconds. ACA, they haven't scratched the shielding just yet. Here comes Blaze, though. Can they find another pick? There's the slow on the cheekies. Jet Propulsion does not land. Brandon still in the mix here. Back to full health. Four shielding is starting to come on back. Oh, now it's four here on the defense. Anti-Clown Association. They're going to try to back away. Dead Gaming holds on. And Tori, with the invisible friends here, is unseen. In case you didn't know, the invisible friends is only a nine second stealth now. Dude abides. Not gonna take the. Oh, still, still a bit of a greedy hearth there. Luckily, Brandon did not have the vision. Back to even here. Anti-Clown Association grabs this camp. Dead Gaming going to grab the top camp. And once again, oh, looks like we got a pause. There is no All righty. We are back at it. We're going to hope and pray that Valimar can hang on for the end of this game because it has come down to this. Big clash here in the mid. There's the jump in from Brandon. Tries to get the stun onto Vince. Brett taking a little bit of damage there as Dead Gaming regroups. Some good poke in from Chromie and Vince. Brandon going over the top once again. Stormbolt not going to connect there. Was predicting a wiggle there from Lunara. Objective about to go to halftime here. Vince putting a little poison on it. Chromie with enough range to take it down. Dead game and ready to strike at any moment. Defensive positions on these immortals. Dead gaming gonna step right up here. Slug Hunter taking some damage. It's the tank's duel on the top side. Dude abides, looking for a flank. Brandon over the top. There's the big stun onto Lunara. Vince somehow staying alive, but is gonna get barked on. Going down there is the Lunara Kelsier dueling with Gojira here. Oh, and that's Chromie going down. Both damage dealers taken out here by Dead Gaming. They're going to stick on this Immortal for now. Objective at 23 minutes. Very, very strong. But they're not going to try for the 5v3 core rush. Instead, they're going to use this objective. See if they're going to split bot. Oh, there's the split from Gojira. Nice peels from Dude Abides. Brandon going to follow it up, though. Oh, Stormbolt doesn't connect. And Nintori's still trying to walk it away here. Dude Abides with another peel. Can Nintori get out of there? There's no cooldown available. Anubarak falls. Dead gaming. They're moving in towards the core. Still the damage dealers of Anti-Clown Association not here and ready. Force shielding is gone. And this looks like it's going to be game number two going over to Dead Gaming. They are going to even up this series 1-1. GG.
We are all even up here in this best of five. Dead Gaming strikes back on Battlefield of Eternity. The very, very aggressive composition. They will pick up the win there. Let's go to the post game. Check out the statistics here. Vince on the Lunara, top hero damage for Anti-Clown Association, a little over 72,000 going out there. Gojira on the Hogger, actually getting ahead in all categories here on the side of Dead Gaming. Top Siege, top hero damage, just barely getting ahead of Li Ming and Greymane there. Top Soak and top self healing. Even beating out Muradin there. Gojira, bringing the noise. take a look at the talents and we will get prepared here for game number three. We're going to Infernal Shrines here for game number three as chosen by Dead Gaming. Draft is up. Let's jump on in. Hey, we're back with the draft. I don't know if that was a disconnect. Did, did, did they change something about the lobby? I didn't see them change something about the lobby. No, ACA's first. So they're just going to run this draft back to where they were. How you doing, Master Galley? Welcome on in. Yeah, not sure why that happened, but uh, hey, we're going to run it back to where we go, where we were. These teams are going to make me do maximum editing for the YouTube version. <laughs> it's okay, though. It's okay. Yeah, just in case you weren't aware, YouTube. We had kind of a false start on our first draft, which is why they're picking at mock speed here. We're going to get to the mid-bands, and then we're going to see how this draft actually emerges. There's that Murden ban. What did we see on the other side there? Can't recall what they banned out, or if they even got to ban something out. I think this is where we left off. Anti-Clown Association looking across at a new Barak Blaze. I'm feeling a Mephisto ban. We're going to ban Sylvanas. Okay. Imagine that puts Slug Hunter on Greymane, unless he wants to work on something like a Hanzo here. Even a Tychus could be coming through in handy here on Infernal Shrines. Let's see what Dead Gaming is thinking for these next two. Looks like it will be the Hanzo. Cheeky's opting for Anduin here. Okay. So you still got a new Barak and Blaze that can ferry in that light bomb. And there is a possible opportunity that Brett just goes excuse me, goes Genji on the last pick here. Unless Anti-Clown Association goes Genji first. Ventori opting for Garrosh here, and Vince will take out that Tychus. Solid combination here from Anti-Clown Association. Is Rhett going to go for the Chromi? Super backline setup this time for Dead Gaming. This is a bit of a tough gift draft for Garrosh to play into if I'm looking. Two very far backline heroes, an Anduin back there, Blaze and Ubrak both have ways to get out of there. Might be a tough one for Nintori. Here we go. Game number three on the left in the blue. Once again is Anti-Clown Association. Kelsier on Junkrat. Vince playing Tychus. Got Filth is on the Rhaegar. Nintori playing Garrosh and Dudabides on the Leoric. On the right in the red, we have Dead Gaming, Rhett on the Chromie, Slug Hunter playing Hanzo, Gojira playing Blaze, Brandon on the Anubarak, and Cheekies with Anduin. Let's do it. Game number three is underway here. Checking our level one quests. Hanzo going for the Scatter Arrow quest. Garrosh going for the Warbreaker stacks to get that cooldown reduction on the Q. Big 
mid-wave clear has begun here due to Bideson and Tori. Gojira just thrown over the wall there to help with that mid-clear. The rotations shall commence. Got Filth coming across. Will be scouted out. Gets bit there. Ooh, a lot of follow-up damage, and Got Filth is going to get caught and taken down. And, oh no, we've got to boss another per Don't do it! Hey, we got into the game! Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Let's try to keep this one going. First blood goes over to dead gaming on these rotations. The Yorick has rejoined the game. Praise be. Checking out this left side camp. Brandon staying in the area. Dead Gaming just going to go for the full invade here. Oh, they're going to catch Rhaegar here on the rotation. Got Filth lunges back into lane. Surfers winning the best of five. Very good, Hershal. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. Left side camp does go over Andy Clown Association. They are going to scout out this bottom side. Chromie with a huge time stop, though, onto three. Gintori going to get rooted. Gets the throw over the top. Nice bloodthirst. Slug Hunter trying to chase on forward. Going to be pulled back, though, and Hanzo is actually the one that ends up going down. Andy Clown Association going to pick up this bottom side camp now. thinking about editing. Oh, because that's not just going to be because now my local recording is screwed up from my blue screen at the beginning, so I'm going to have to pull down the Twitch VOD for the first part <laughs> and then chain it together with all of these little fragments that we've had so far this series. Oh, heavens to Betsy. Goodness gracious. Well, our first shrine is activating both teams. Hey, I, can I get both of them in frame? Can you see both of them? They're both doing the camps. It's in the top. Oh, you can't see it through the, the thing. Unfortunate. Fine, we'll come over here. If you could see through the HUD, then you could see the, both see, or see them both doing that camp. It was close. Shaman camps are prepped. We've got an arcane shrine here in the mid getting ready. We'll see who's got the initial advantage here on this clear. New York and Blaze remaining in the top lane, waiting for those Shaman camps to clash. Anti Clown Association getting a lead here, but Brandon and crew are coming on through. And Tori pops the Indomitable for the first round of CC. Anti Clown Association with a significant minion lead here, but Gojira has now joined the fray. Junkrat remaining in the bottom lane right now for Anti Clown Association, getting split value. ACA trying to have it both ways right now. Tori followed up onto. There's the purge from God Filth. Minion count starting to get a little bit more even, but Anti Clown Association still locking him in. Nice swipe there from Dudabai's 37 minions. Gojira very low. Nuntori low as well. There's one pull. Blaze will go down. Another pickoff there for Anti Clown Association. Kelsier did have to come on up to help that out, but. Overall, Anti Clown Association getting that side soak and getting the objective. Now a level lead here for ACA. It's Kelsier and Gotfilth going to split off towards this wall. Kelsier just getting this uh, warded. Bottom wall looks like it's going to be taken out here. Nice use of the totem to draw fire from the wall. Red will be captured on that rotation. I'm sure Kelsier snickering with his <laughs> trap placement there. Left side camp picked up here by ACA. Possible to engage into the mid here onto Leoric. Due to Bide's able to pop the unstoppable. Start to walk it on back. And Leo gonna be just fine. Hanzo going to be even finer, finishing off that level 1 quest with the Scatter at 5 minutes. Bottom side camp being picked up here by ACA. Dead Gaming will be scouted on this rotation. 
Level 10s are now hidden for ACA. Looking at Riptire, Odin, Entomb, Warlord's Challenge, and Ancestral Heal. So right now, Dead Gaming a little bit on the back foot. They definitely have room to stabilize here in this game. Tori looking for a throw, gets the throw onto the time onto the uh, junk rat trap, which does have silencing properties. Could be an interesting little maneuver. ACA tries to use this game. Thinking about a camp invade here on the right hand side. Godfilth was scouted by Chromie. There's not an awful lot the dead gaming can really do about it. They don't have any displacement abilities from over the wall, so they're just gonna have to give up that camp. Meanwhile, on the top side, Blaze and Learg, I'm sure, are having a lovely game <laughs> doing their side work. Tens are now in for Dead Gaming, looking at the Slowing Sands, Bunker, Cocoon, Light Bomb, and Dragon Arrow. Right now, ACA just lingering in the mid, looking for somebody to engage onto. Brandon trying to find... The same thing here on the south side. Plays a little bit forward right now. Here comes the super flank. Gojira is going to be blocked nice in tune, but still gets the stun onto everybody. There's the bunkers. Now Gojira going to try to double back. Stun over the wall. Due to Bides wrapping around. Here comes the dragon arrow from the bottom lane, though. Cheekies has the pull. Light bomb engage onto Leoric. Ancestral healing does land, and Due to Bides will survive. Tyke is put into the cocoon next. Alts are flying left and right here in this engage between lanes. Due to Bides, eh, staying healthy for now. Now Vince is thrown to safety by Nintori. The Orc nearly caught. Now Nintori trying to try to self-peel here. Doubling away, and Garrosh is going to fall. Shrine is now activating. Order Punisher in the top lane. Anti-Clown Association just going to grab their Shaman Camp while they can. Garrosh on the way back from the grave. It's going to avoid that little stun attempt from Brandon. This Junkrat just uh, going to go ahead and take this bottom fort. Gelser's doing a great job of splitting off and getting value during these objectives. ACA have their 13s. Only 17 minions down so far. Anti-Clown Association could bully their way onto this. Tori trying to catch Gojira there. There is the catch with the Entomb. Bunker not used. Tori looking for a throw, but oh, it's the mid-air catch from Cheekies with the save. ECA evening up this minion count as Brandon looking for a flank onto the back line right now. Rhaegar put into the cocoon. There's the light bomb engaged. Stun onto two. Gr great follow up from Chromie. Wow. Junkrat goes down. Gintori trying to move away here. Scatter from Slug Hunter just a little bit off target. They're chasing out Vince. Chastise is going to land. And that will be a double kill for Dead Gaming. Anti-Clown Association trying to split off and grab some value once again. Gojira not going to allow the minions to crash in the mid. Slug Hunter prepping this lane for the objective that's going to be pushing on in. Anubarak rejoining the fray. Tychus is now back and going to come on up here to help with this defense. But this looks like it's going to be a down fort. Fort definitely going to be picked up here by Dead Gaming. We'll see how much further they can go. Looks like there's going to be a rotation here onto Due to Bibes. Pops the Wraithwalk early. Tries to get... Oh no! Due to Bibes caught himself on the Entomb. And Leoric will go down. Was trying to create a blocker to walk past. Unfortunate there for Leoric. Now they're looking for more. Ancestral does land, but that does so does the Light Bomb. There goes... The Rhaegar. 
Now they're looking for Kelsey or stun in the corner, and now Junkrat goes down. Dead gaming with the triple kill. Great rotation to the mid by them. Anti-Clown Association on the back foot right now. We're going to lose their mid fort. Still pretty even on experience. If we take a look at the experience here, still a minion lead, though down now in Heroes. They've got most of the mercenary camps, though, which is really what's keeping them in this game so far. Dead Gaming now taking the level lead. We'll grab this bottom camp as well. Sixteen versus sixteen now. Victoria trying to wrap around for some sort of engage. Brandon stepping forward. Right side camp being now being worked on by Anduin and Hanzo. Brandon is now dismounted. And Tori not going to go for that engage. The Auric back scouting on forward. We'll match the mid siege camp. Here comes ACA from the low side. Nice scout, though, from Hanzo, covering all lanes of entry. The vision tools available to Dead Gaming are quite strong here. Got Filth is going to be caught by the uh, by the time trap as the scatter tries to push on through, but Rhaegar will survive. Chase forward onto Leo and Garrosh. Got Filth going to get the self-ancestral to get out of trouble. Bolt's traded out there. ACA going to push forward and look for a re-engage. Our next objective is going to be on this low side. Stentori holding it down. Frozen Punisher should be called in just a moment here. Right side Shaman Camp will be claimed by Dead Gaming. We'll see if they want to move across for this one. Looks like they are going to try to invade. Nintori sees them coming from multiple directions. He's going to back off. Brandon moves in. He's going to get stunned, though. Taunt goes out onto the front line. Nintori now the target. He's going to be stunned out and taken down. Due to Bides trying to flank on forward here. But the bunker... We'll keep everyone healthy on the side of Dead Gaming. That's another kick pickoff there. Now they will get this camp steal. Shaman Camp goes over to Dead Gaming. Shrine is now activating. ACA down their tank have to deal with this double Shaman Camp up top, so I imagine they're not going to be putting too much pressure onto this objective. Here, just throwing in some mines, seeing if we can get a cheeky last hit, but no such hit will be taken. Dead Gaming gonna pick up this one, no problem. <clears throat> Still fairly even on levels here, regardless. Anti Clown Association aren't gonna find themselves at too much of a deficit come level 20. Looks like Dead Gaming is going to pause out the objective for a moment just to tag this bottom camp. Get a little bit of stacked pressure here in the bottom lane. Tyke is baiting this Punisher over the wall before moving back to safety. Here comes Dead Gaming though. Structure is shut off. Brandon from the top side looking for an engage, but ACA peeling back effectively. Here comes the pressure on the low side. There's the jump over the wall, gonna catch two. Gojira's actually gonna be popped over by Kelsier. Has to use the bunker as we see Dead Gaming trying to break out that side wall. Cheekies though has the pull to get Blaze back to safety. Punisher with another jump there being followed up. Leoric is gonna be going down. Rhaegar was put into the cocoon there. Couldn't get the save. Dragonair timed out perfectly. Ancestral will not land in time. Dead Gaming find a double kill. They're looking for more here. Nintori peeling for Kelsier. 
Now they're looking, oh, Garrosh is down. They've got their 20s and a triple kill. Dead Gaming might be just taking this game number three. Wow, what a snowball here. Dude Abides is about to be back. They're possibly looking for another pick if they can get it, but now they're pressuring forward into the core. Vince is holding off the wave as much as possible. Shielding is now gone. Here comes Dude Abides. Leo is back. They're looking for a pick off if they can get it. Kojira steps forward. Crossfire doesn't get the kill. 74% on the core as Kelsier goes right in there. Is going to be caught and taken down. There goes Junkrat. Dead gaming. Now I have to deal with this flank from Vince. As Rhett tags the core once again. They're looking for Tyke as Vince moves away. Dude Abides is going to catch Rhett, but Cheeky's with another great pull there. Tychus goes down. Core is low. That is Rhaegar to fall, and this looks like Dead Gaming have found all the picks they need. They're going to take this game number three and threaten match point versus ACA here. Wow, Dead Gaming threatening another upset victory. They took it over CCS on Sunday, and now they are one game away from taking this series versus Anti-Clown Association. Don't count them out just yet. ACA definitely in a position to come on back. They got to win the next two. We'll see if they can do it. Let's go to the post game. Check out the stats here. Vince on the Tychus, top hero damage for Anti-Clown Association. They just never could really get the engine going there. They got a lot of side soak, they had their lanes prepped, but when it came to the team fights, it seemed like Dead Gaming just had their number. Slug Hunter, top hero damage over 56,000 for the side of Dead Gaming. Take a look at the talent builds and we will get prepped for game number four. We are going to Towers of Doom for game number four, once again chosen by Dead Gaming. Draft is up. Teams are itching to get going. Let's get into it. All right. Anti-Clown Association starting off with that Diablo ban. See if it's met with the Johanna once again. ACA on the brink here. They've got to win two straight. Dead gaming. Only one more victory needed to advance here in the playoffs. We do see that Johanna band coming on out from Dead Gaming. I was honestly a little bit worried that Dead Gaming would struggle with that sort of backline composition, but I thought they drafted very well into the Garrosh plan. So I think that was a really nice victory there on Infernal Shrines for Dead Gaming, but I wouldn't be surprised to see them go back to a more aggressive style here in game number four. Hogger banned away by Anti-Clown Association, definitely one of the divers that have been utilized by Dead Gaming so well. And we'll catch another Brightwing ban. Lucio is available. If Anti Clown Association is interested, this is one of Lucio's better maps. We'll see if there's something else they want to control here. Could be, so, could be just grabbing up the Blaze as well. Gonna be that Lucio, Nantori locking it in. Dead Gaming have been pretty happy with that Anubarak Blaze pick rotation. Let's see if that's something they want to run with again here. Kojira ooh, wants the Dahaka this time. I do like a Dahaka on Towers of Doom. There's that Anubarak from Brandon. Dahaka Blaze, I'd say, are pretty even on towers. Dahaka, of course, has the advantage of the global, which 
these teams can use to great effect. Anti-Clown Association, we'll see if they want that Blaze or if they want to move to something else. Looks like the Blaze will be the choice for Dude Abides. Got Filth, Lockin, the Muradin, just to make sure it doesn't get banned away. Both Anduin and Rhaegar are available. Those are the ones we usually see Cheekies playing. Though they might possibly stray into the Stukov. As we see Junkrat banned out. Anti-Clown Association. They have a tank and an offlane banned so far, and tank and offlane are already picked, so they don't really have anything to narrow down besides maybe another healer ban. Or they could just try to take out that Sylvanas again. Let's see what they're thinking here. We need to get rid of Hanzo this time. Long range arrow can definitely be a problem for Lucio, who is often up in the mix there. Doesn't want to get hit by that AoE stun. Dead Gaming with the next two picks. Is it Genji Bomb time? Do you just snap lock that Genji Bomb? It's gonna be Sylvanas here for Slug Hunter. Anduin for Cheekies. Gonna threaten the Genji Bomb at least. Although there's no backline showing for Anti Clan Association right now, so that might be a little bit imprudent. <clears throat> but the damage is coming through now. We'll see what Anti Clan Association wants to take here. Vince will steal away that Genji, which I think is a very good choice. Kelsier opting for Lunara here. I like that draft plan by ACA. Leaving the Genji up would have been pretty risky. So taking it for themselves, I like that play. Red on the last pick. Going to opt for a Thrall here. Going to look to try to bruise that front line a little bit, possibly catch Genji out with that Feral Spirit. Solo backline Sylvanas here for Dead Gaming. All right. This is a tough one. I feel like Dead Gaming's got the momentum, but betting against Genji always feels like a bad idea. Here we go, game number four. On the left and the blue, once again, Anti-Clown Association. Ventori on the Muradin. Vince playing Genji. Dude abides on the Blaze. Got Filth on Lucio. Kelsier on Lunara. On the right and the red, we have Dead Gaming. Cheeky's on Anduin. Brandon playing the Anubarak. Gojira on Dahaka. Rhett on the Thrall. And Slug Hunter on Sylvanas. Gamma? Ah. Uh, if I had seen that earlier, I might have been able to do it, but I'm not going to tab out to do it. If there's a mod in chat who wants to start a gamble, feel free. I'm not sure if there's any here at the moment. Nonetheless, gamble by, I don't know, shouting your team's, your favorite team's name in the chat. That will be your gamble. <laughs> Clash in the mid commences. Anti-Clown Association going to seed this minion wave for the meantime. Lunara already down at the bottom lane. Looks like the rotation... Got Filth doing a good job of interrupting here. Brett looking for, an, looking for a route there, but didn't get it onto Lucio. The Protect Bubble comes out for Vince. Gets away on the Genji, and Thrall is going to be caught at the wall there. First Blood goes over to Anti-Clown Association. Got Filth with the movement speed, trying to move away here. Takes the long route. The wall rides back to safety. Genji not going to be so lucky, though. Dead Gaming strikes back, and they're looking for more. Camps are up here. Kelsier and Gotfil starting that left side camp here for ACA. Right side camp, Dead Gaming going to get there started as well. <clears throat> K 
Genji gonna jump onto Thrall here as Dudabides coming across. Rhett could be in a spot of trouble. Dudabides does connect. Crossfire comes through. Is there enough damage? Genji over the wall wants a reset, but there's the healing for Thrall. Oh no, Vince in trouble. <gasps> oh, Dudabides somehow with the pick, but Genji still goes down. One for one there in the mid lane. Wow, this is flying fast and furious here in the early going. Brandon looking for God Filth there. Lucio, though, just pumping it up to get those heals. Looks like Sappers will be pushing across here for Anti Clown Association. We'll see if they can get those to collapse on the wall. Wow, triple stun there from Brandon. Sappers are going to crash forward. Wall mostly taken down there as our first triple altar phase is activating. We'll see if there's going to be an honorable trade on the top side between Dahaka and Blaze. Or if there will be some shenanigans. Blaze currently not on the point for now. Looks like Genji is going to be the one to move up there and channel. So bottom will be where the battle lies. Dahaka staying in the top lane. Might dig on down for the fight if necessary. Here comes Dahaka. Due to Bides. Tries to get the stun. Does not land. Cheeky's trying to walk it away here. Chastise does not land onto Genji, but there's not enough damage to continue the chase. Gojira taking some hits there, but pops the essence to stay healthy. Got Phil scooting on back to safety. His teams are starting to reset, trying to heal up. Red stunned on the low side as Brandon tries to engage onto Dude Abides. Gojira chasing on forward. Dude Abides gets to move away. Got Filth looking for some damage onto Gojira. Chase forward onto Cheekies. And when in trouble, the heal comes back. Kelsier chasing forward, though. That should be enough. Oh, Anduin? Oh my gosh, Anduin lives, Lunara goes down, Cheeky somehow survives there. And now, Dead Gaming is looking forward, Chastise lands, Muradin will fall. Now they're looking for Genji, but Vince has the swift strike to move away. Somehow, Dead Gaming managed to stay alive there, but Anti-Clown Association did grab that channel to take the two for one on our first objective. Dude abides in trouble in the top lane. Gojira gonna chase forward. One more auto. <gasps> the oil is enough. Unbelievable. Gojira nearly getting the 1v1 kill. The most coveted play in offlaner history. The 1v1 kill. Looks like move on to the mid here. Brandon going to engage here onto Nintori. Rhett having to move back though as God Filth has the push off. Man, this is tense. Very, very tense for a pre-10 game. Boss is now available. As we heard the howling of the Pumpkin King. Whatever the heck his name's called. Go God, Phil taking a lot of damage there from Slug Hunter. There's a <laughs> beetle on the chase as well. As Nintori getting those skull crackers onto Brandon. Gonna require a save from Anduin. Charging in though is Vince, looking for the kill. Got Filth in trouble, is going to be turned onto by Slug Hunter. Lucio goes down, Dead Gaming picking up another turnaround kill. As we have a single altar face spawning on the low side. Be swift, heroes. Dead Gaming about to pop their level 10s, we'll grab those now. Sundering the choice here for Thrall, we've also got... Light Bomb, Cocoon, Wailing Arrow, and Isolation. Cheekies gets that channel as ACA grabs their 10s. There's... Ooh, they're looking for Kelsier over the top. Leaping Strike to move away. Still get the root onto Nintori, but now got Filth with that high five. It's going to be a lot harder to catch ACA here. Nintori taking a lot of damage on the way through here. You saw that Leaping Strike from Lunara. We've also got Bunker, X-Strike, High Five, and Avatar. 
here for Anti-Clown Association. Gojira is scouted. Little bit of a pause, a little bit of a lull until they engage in completely under ret. That's going down to half health. Not gonna survive. Ooh, oh, Brandon nearly walked into trouble there. Doubles back towards the mid lane. Right side camp up in five seconds. Anti Clown Association is setting up here. <clears throat> Still thinking about an invade here is ACA. Their own camp is up as well. Looks like they will finally just double back and get that going. Double altar phase on the bottom side of the map is coming up next. The sappers are claimed by both teams. Ooh, Rhett already used the Feral Spirit. Vince is going to go in. Lucio is put into the cocoon there, but Kelsey are going to get that breakout. Sundering a little bit too early as well as the Burrow Charge. Murden get, pops the Avatar before being dragged in. ACA, this could be the engage they're looking for. X-Strike from Vince does not land on the Slug Hunter. Brandon low, but able to move back. All the while though, Notori is going to get some room for this channel on the top side. A couple more shots here for Anti-Clown Association. Now the, the uh, attention will move to this bottom altar. Uh-oh, Vince may have moved a little bit too far forward. That drag timing is great from Gojira. Genji goes down. Dahaka going to finish up this channel to get the core shots even once again. Brandon with the long charge. Can't quite get the connection, but now the Sapper's moving into the fort. The Black Arrow's turning off the structure as well. Dead Gaming looking to get this control here. Genji about to come back out of the base. Stead Gaming has a slight experience lead, but now we're back to 13-13. Light Bomb engaged. Nice dodge from Kelsier. Second Leaping Strike goes out. Impale does not land onto Lunara. That's Lucio put into the cocoon. Nice reactions there from Anti-Clown Association. Meanwhile, on the top side, Gojira working on this camp. Oh, possible engage onto Brandon here. Vince over the top. <laughs> Just a casual impale onto three. Vince going to continue to chase on forward here, but Anubarak getting back to safety. No problem. Gojira. Oh, there's a little flank here from Genji. But Dahaka has the movement speed to move away. Right now, team's just posturing. Anti Clown Association looking for the mid once again. Double Altar Phase top side this time coming on through next. I believe this is the last one before the Triple Altar Phase. Let's see what the setup is going to be. Dead Gaming coming across here looking for Blaze. There's the route coming on out due to Bides. Pops the bunker. Getting in there early to preserve that health. Strong idea there. Tahaka going to get a quick channel on the top right. Anti-Clown Association. Due to Bide's going to start the top left. It looks like Dead Gaming instead going to try to catch Nintori here. I didn't see if the jump was already used. Light Bomb going to land onto one. Lucio put into the cocoon. Nintori in trouble. Looking for a cooldown. Murden will fall. Sundering, connecting. Got Filth getting out of trouble with Dead Gaming picking up another kill here. And they're also contesting this left side channel. Due to Bides, I believe, can basically infinitely interrupt this, but here comes Godfilth and Kelsier to push Gojira away. Kelsier gets this channel for four shots, but here comes Dead Gaming down the bottom lane. They're going to lock up this structure and establish some map control. They've also got level 16 advantage. Oh, Rhett nearly run down there by Godfilth. Sapper's coming across here as well. That will have to be answered by Anti-Clown Association. They're coming through on the top side. Brandon sees them coming. Looks like the Sappers will be taken down, no problem. But now that fort belongs to Dead Gaming. Brandon looking for a dig onto the front line. 
Kelsier ready with that leaping strike, though. Slug Hunter thinking about moving back to base right now. Will complete that hearth. So Dead Gaming going to be in more of a defensive posture down here in the bottom lane. Kojira nearly getting pinched there by Nintorian due to bides. Had the tunneling claws to move back, though. Nubarak looking for a topside flank right now. Slug Hunter is returned as well. Gojira is going to see Nintorian due to bides on the top side. Engage here on the low side, though. Lucio's put in the cocoon. There's the follow-up. Lucio goes down. Sundering lands onto Vince. Uses the protect. X-Strike. <laughs> I feel like that was a coin flip. I think Genji might have come back to this side of the wall at some point. If that was placed just a little bit different. That X was directly on the middle of that. Triple Alter Phase is now online. Dead Gaming going to leave Thrall on the bottom side to get the single cap. Lucio down for 12 seconds here. Right side cap going over to Gojira. That's five shots. That's going to be ten shots going across. Kelsier will get the left side here for Anti-Clown Association to get three. There's the root. Follow-up is good. Oh, Vince in trouble. Genji goes down. Did not expect Rhett to be there. Nice catch on the Feral Spirit. Brandon in range for the follow-up. Great pickoff by Dead Gaming. That will allow them to hold on to this bottom structure. There's the root. Light Bomb comes out in Tori. Does not have a jump cooldown. Has the Avatar, though, to get into the kill zone. Got Filth, gets hit with a couple beasts of lightning. Sappers are walking in. That's three shots onto the core. Anti-Clown Association down to 11 core health. Dead Gaming looking fantastic, but this is Towers of Doom. This is the comeback map. It's not over till it's over. And Tori looking for Gojira here. There's the Stormbolt stun. Tunneling Claws comes on out. Gojira doubles back, but look at the swarm here from Anti-Clown Association. Nowhere to go. Dahaka will go down. Nice pick off there. Thinking about taking a boss, but they're going to double away and get towards another possible gank here. Slug Hunter warps back to safety. Nice route there. Nice follow-up, but not enough damage to take down God Filth. ECA showing they are absolutely not done here. They're going to take back this bottom lane. Blaze working on slow capping the top lane. Dead Gaming looking to find a pick of their own. Got Filth coming across. Oh, there's the dig. Light Bomb does not land. Got Filth with a nice scout there. Alter is spawning in. Dead Gaming going to double back. They know they don't have their tools available. Let's see if they can get an interrupt here. Oh, both abilities just a bit short. Divine Star and Haunting Wave, both just a pixel away from the Interrupt. Anticlown Association finishes the channel. Anticlown Association are about to have their level 20s, and they're looking to pressure this bottom fort. Or bottom keep, I guess you can call it now. Quick wave clear from Slug Hunter shuts down that idea. Dahaka trying to hold the top lane that blazes slowly, whittling down. Slug Hunter steps up to good damage onto Kelsier. Lucio's put into the cocoon. Red coming across here. There's the chastise. Oh, Lunara is caught. Genji is caught with a stun as well. X strike onto the group. Genji is hit with the silence, though. Gojira chasing forward. That is Genji to fall. Blaze goes down as well. This is a huge moment here for Dead Gaming. It's a single altar phase next. They're going to try to take back the bottom lane. Boss is a possibility as well. Brett pulled back to safety. Nintori trying to hold this camp gets a jump on over to the mid lane. It's only a single altar next. That is the saving grace here for Anti-Clown Association. Boss plus channel is only nine shots, but if two of these sappers come across, this could be a victory here. 
for Dead Gaming. Lucio and Murden have to try to step up. Lucio's not in the area though. Mintori, one across, two across. This is a this is possible game. Godfield is caught. Oh no, Lucio is down. Dead Gaming, pick up the kill. A monstrous pick there. They're gonna get five shots on the low side and they're gonna move towards the boss. Dead Gaming might take this victory. Lucio's down for 50. Can Anti-Clown Association defend the boss with four? There's the shots to Haka. Coming up to join. Boss is started. Dead Gaming looking to seal this series. Here they come. Gojira can't get the drag onto Kelsier. Silence Arrow in the back. It's Lunara to go down. Dead Gaming. They're doing it. Vince being chased away. Boss is going to be reset here. But they keep fighting through the mid. Cheekies retreating back. Vince with the X strike. They're looking for. Oh, Genji goes down. There's the catch on the blaze as well. Anti Clown Association is getting wiped. Dead Gaming are going to come through with three straight victories in this best of five with a huge upset over Anti Clown Association. And they are going to be moving on to the Grand Finals to face off against 30 Croissant. And Tori's jumping in, but it's not going to be enough. Shots fire into the core. That is the game, and that is the series. Congratulations, Dead Gaming. What a series. It took quite a while. We had a few technical difficulties, as noted that it is now 11.30 p.m. Eastern but unbelievable work dead gaming just rise to the occasion here and take the series over anti-clown association they will be moving on to next week's grand finals congratulations very very well done let's check out the post game here checking out the stats kelsier on the lunara top hero damage for anti-clown association Forty-four thousand coming on out there Slug Hunter on the Sylvanas, nearly 68,000 hero damage on zero deaths on the side of Dead Gaming. Unbelievable stuff. Take a look at the talent builds. As we update the scoreboard and close out this series. What an incredible series it was.